Hit what? Yeah, you're not gonna hit it. That's what I thought. Hey friends, this is Dolany TV. Welcome in from Sylvan Lake, Alberta on New Year's Eve where the Oilers have just done what many thought they wouldn't be capable of doing. But again, this Oilers team proving you, me, and everybody else who dealt some gear in your oat in the, uh, well, was it, it's in the middle part of the season. They dealt, uh, they proved. Uh, that was too fun of a game, okay? That was one of those fun games where you have way too much fun throughout the whole way. The Oilers dummy the Ducks. And what I'm saying, they sweep California. And off and running into 2024 we go. We're on for a good ride here as the Oilers are now all of a sudden, I think by points percentage, technically in the playoff hunt now, fully within a wild card spot if you were going off a of playoffs or points percentage as we did back in 2020. But the Edmonton Oilers, um, holy man, the Oilers have proven us all of us who doubted them wrong, and all of a sudden this California road trip, right? We knew that Anaheim and San Jose should be and would be gimme games, but happy new year, friends. The Oilers give us a winning effort to close out 2023, and the biggest part is here, this California road trip gives us a lot of hope for 2024. Now sitting comfortably in the standings, climbing up game in, game out. We have Philadelphia on Tuesday, another tough test similar to those LA Kings from a couple of games ago. But this Edmonton Oilers squad, my goodness, they've been fun to watch the past month or so. Obviously, you can say what was the problem or what wasn't the problem, but everybody kind of towing their own work ethic. Now you put together Ryan McLeod, Warren Fogle, and Leon Dreisel. And I'll give credit to all those guys who said, two years ago, a year ago, six months ago, that you have to play Warren Fogle with Leon Dreisettle. You were absolutely right, but we'd done it over the course of a couple of seasons, and it had never fully worked to full effect. You all of a sudden put Ryan McLeod up there, and the Edmonton Oilers go ham and get the job done with, of course, Ryan McLeod, Warren Fogle, and Leon Dreisettle having another huge hockey game here tonight. Warren Fogle recording his first ever Five-point hockey game. You love to see it. And, of course, Ryan McLeod scoring another goal. It's been a good New Year's Eve so far. And, oh, by the way, if I really wanted to, and I was really, 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 really feeling it, we could drive up that QE2 only a couple hours away from Edmonton right now. Go party with Josh Ross downtown Edmonton in the Heart of Ice District there. Wouldn't that be something to do to close out the new year? But uh, unfortunately, we'll just party down here in Sylvan Lake. Have a good time. Make the best of it either which way. But friends, the Edmonton Oilers close out 2023. Warren Fogle's your third star to end the year. And of course, you got to also remember for the Edmonton Oilers, it was a big effort from one Calvin Picard in net tonight, only giving up two goals over the course of the hockey game. <coughs> and once more, proving me wrong, thinking about this Oilers team, I was saying it was going to be Ollie Rodriguez in net tonight. Again, that would have been the storybook, but hey, the Oilers secure a big, fat W to win the 2023 finale. And again, another New Year's Eve hockey game where the Oilers have a lot of fun, score a lot of goals, and give us a lot to talk about. So the, but the nice part is we don't have to wait too long. Going to watch the uh, Winter Classic tomorrow between Seattle and Vegas. And then we're right back to action on January 2nd as we get set for the Philadelphia Flyers. Then I think we don't play till Saturday. So that kind of sucks. But hey, you know what? Who cares? If the Oilers want to keep winning games, I'll wait as long as it possibly takes to get to that next W. Friends, I'm Tyson. This is Stall on ETV. Thank you so much for being along for the ride. I'm sure Patrick will be with you, friends, shortly. Not sure what his schedule all entails. We kind of haven't been able to hook up too much here over the past little bit in chat. But, of course, that's the Christmas and New Year's season, the holiday season. Friends, if you're enjoying tonight's hockey game and you enjoyed listening to the post-game edition of Ramblin' here on Dolany TV, I'd enjoy if you'd hit that subscribe button as we close out 2023. Onwards and upwards in 2024, friends. I look forward to being alongside you for what could be a very... Very, very, Terry, great hockey season here on Dolany TV in 2024. I'm up on, over here. Back to you, Dolan.